Thanks, Margie. We're talking about prom season. Yes, we are in that season and going to prom is supposed to be a night to remember and to keep it that way. Tomorrow is the 20th annual wake up day at Seckman High School in Imperial, Missouri. That's when the Antonia Fire Department and the seniors recreate a disturbing graphic view of what can happen when drinking and driving. We've got Christy Weidler joining us. She is with the Antonia Fire Department, as well as Captain Ben Ortball Steinkamp. Laura. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. What do you got planned tomorrow? Tell us about it. Take us through it. Tomorrow, we will have finished up the mock vehicle accident, so the kids will watch the video in the gym, gymnasium showing what the, their, it's friends of theirs that they are going to school with currently. They will come outside to visualize the vehicle accident that is in real life. Real-time trucks are going just like a real vehicle accident. Uh, the kids will be upset, the parents will be upset. Sheriff's Department will be there. We'll be there. Rock Community will be there. Uh, Saline Valley will be there. The morgue will be there. Weather depending will have So this is as real as it gets. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, car crashes are the leading cause of death for teenagers in the United States. Uh, the Antonio Fire Department's been doing this for 20 years. In that time, have there been any prom fatalities? Not that we are aware of. So it, it, you could say it's working, obviously. I hope so. Yeah, Christy, you're a retired St. Louis police officer. You've seen so many disturbing crashes over the years. I have. Um, what's your advice for parents? To be open and honest with their kids, talk with them. I mean, they're high school kids, you know what they're gonna do, but make them feel comfortable so that they can call you if they get into trouble or if they've had too much to drink. Let them know you'd much rather get that phone call from them coming to pick them up than having an officer knock on the door to let them know that their child's died. Yeah, or it could be a life-altering accident where oh. they never recover. Never. Right? Yeah, all yeah. those dreams gone. <laughs> yeah. They worked Just, so hard for it. Yeah. Yep. Um, so you talk to the seniors afterwards and before, right? Yes. What are some of the questions they have? I don't know that there's so many questions I, I hold with Krista here is that I would much rather be woke up to come get you and be upset with you <laughs> than deal with the results that can happen. Right. It is the worst feeling in the world when you have those your kids calling you in the wrong night and thinking that they've been in an accident or you know they're in the hospital, hopefully not dead. But those are the fears that you really, really face. Yeah, parents are always supposed to go before the kids, and you, right. to live right. through that would just be a nightmare. The, I'm sure the goal is not to scare the kids, but to let them know there are choices, bad choices and good choices. In, That's in right. Life. Wake up day. All right. Well, some school districts I know they've contacted you and they've created similar programs. Right. I know there were some when I was growing up, mm -hmm. but then there are those who hesitate. So right. what's, your, what's your word to them? I, it, it's meant to wake them up. I get that as a, a scary scene, but I would rather it be a mock vehicle accident so they understand or have the understanding of what can happen rather than dealing with it in real life because that's, that's going to affect you more. Captain Ben, thanks for coming on. Christy, we appreciate it. Thank and, you. And uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We're going to take a little break. We've got more Fox 2 News in the morning right after this.